Hello folks and thanks for watching, we're Sherwood with phoenix.co.uk and today I'm going to show you a German look upright piano. Um, this piano is, is in a lovely uh, rosewood case and it has come in as a trade-in. We tend not to sell pianos like this anymore and it's, it's purely because the market's changed more, more than anything else. Um, and a lot of people, a lot, the reason the market changes, a lot of people will, will just buy a digital piano um, because it's a more affordable um, one of the big reasons is it's a more, more affordable way to, to learn to play the piano. Um, I'll just take it apart, just to, to show you uh, a little bit inside as well. So th this is a, an overstrung under damper, and it's quite, a, it's quite a tall piano to be fair, so it's quite, a, it's quite a large piano. And a lot of the time when we get these pianos traded into us, um, it's normally been someone's first piano, so it tends to be a piano that maybe is in some district pair. Uh, but the, the, the truth of it is, even an old piano in disrepair, they mostly can be fixed, but the, the, the reality is, if it doesn't exceed, exceed the value of, um, like, the end value, if the work that would take a piano to get into a really nice condition would exceed the end value, then it's enough to put a lot of people off. Uh, but this is, this is a good example of a well-maintained, um, quality, upright piano. Um, and it's, it's basically, it just, it just got my attention because we do get a lot of trade-ins like this and the reality is um, a lot of the time we, we're either utilising them as spare parts or we're, we're disposing of them as well. And to be quite frank, we, we probably, we're going to put this one on eBay uh, as an exercise, um, but the reality is we're, we're quite keen to start seeing if there's, if there's people out there that are looking for a piano um, to get started on. Then, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this piano. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just going to give you a play over. Here we go. It's a fully working uh, piano. It's also more or less in tune. We've not tuned it, we've not done anything to it since it came in, it's just the way it's landed. Um, casework, obviously, a piano of this age isn't going to be perfect, uh, hasn't had any restoration. Uh, I do know as well that it's got J.D. Cuthbertson, which was a Glaswegian, which is where I'm from, it was a Glaswegian company that um, was a big piano uh, retailer in the, uh, from about 1900 through to 1960, 1970, and they, Especially being in Glasgow, I must have seen the J.D. Curperson hundreds if not thousands of times on pianos over the years. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a quality instrument and you don't have a massive budget, then there are pianos like this one out there. The trouble is buying something and not knowing what you're buying is a, it's a real problem. So um, that is something we can help with. If, if, you want a, if you want a little bit of assistance buying something a little bit cheaper, um, we, we can we can generally help, and generally speaking, we do have stuff like this piano that comes in and it, it pains us. We, we very rarely break a good piano like this, but we would rather almost give it away or sell it on eBay for it could even be as little as fifty to hundred pounds or something like that. Um, and it, it's a it's a great instrument. You would never never be able to buy a piano like this for fifty to hundred pounds now as a new piano. You probably piano of this quality actually because we're talking a German quality made piano piano of this quality new you're, you're talking about ten thousand pounds upwards so that that's the interesting thing and probably through time uh, I don't think it would happen with this particular maker that this piano would become valuable again but I feel that the way that uh, the, the acoustic piano world is going just now is a little bit like the way that the records went um, in the, the 80s, uh, got into the 90s, where people stopped using them again, and then recently, in the last kind of five years, I would say more than more than the last 10 years, we've started seeing people go out and buying record players again and, and getting their vinyls out and fighting to buy really nice old vinyls. And I, I think good quality uh, acoustic pianos like this that have t uh, lasted the test of time in time to come will be. Um, more valuable than they are today. It's, it's a real shame to see people just uh, dismantle a good quality piano. So we will do our best to make sure that doesn't happen to a piano like this. 
Um, it's 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 a, just a really nice instrument. Uh, I'll play I'll play a song over to you. You might have heard me playing this one before. I'll play it over to you. And if you've got any questions, do feel free to ask. And certainly come and visit us. We're uh, Mansfield, Nottinghamshire, and we're here Monday to Saturday, ten to five, and any other time by appointment. Here we go. <laughs> Yes, folks, if you've got any questions, do feel free to give us a shout on 01623 657 301 or drop me an email. I'm Stephen, it's Stephen with a PH, Stephen at SherwoodPhoenix.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, folks. We do look forward to hearing from you. Bye for now.